the thing I did not get from my oncologist was any helpful information on side effects. Um, I, this is what I've learned, this is my perspective, that um, oncologists are amazing. They are brilliant. And what they know is chemotherapy. They know treatment. That is what they study. It's what they, you know, what they see day in and day out. It's what they have to care about because it's the treatment, whether it's chemotherapy or immunotherapy or whatever, it's the treatment that's curative and, not but, and it's the side effects that we are managing that um, sometimes we can't manage. And to have access to information about um, what are the possible side effects with each chemo? What can we do? How to advocate for yourself? Like I started to get neuropathy and I told my oncologist and she lowered one of the dosages, like one of the chemos within the, the cocktail and my neuropathy went away basically. And I was like, oh my God, like people don't know to do this. Like if you just say something and the oncologist can help you, maybe sometimes you have to really push. When you have those gut instincts, you have to go with them. You at least have to explore them is what I learned. Like you can't, I, when I have something in my gut that's saying, whoa, 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 hang on a second, voice it. They did not appreciate, doctors did not like how many questions I had, but I asked them anyway because they were critical and I'm a human being and I get to ask all my questions and take up space. So that's, yeah, that's the best advice I can give. Take up space. It's your life. It's not their life. They're not the ones going through the chemotherapy. They know a lot of things, but they're not the one. You know your body.